I must thank the Chief Minister because today he has given me an opportunity in a personal capacity and as an associate of a huge venture about 11,000 crores coming up in the border with Maharashtra in Valsa district in near, um, Umargaon called Gujarat Vital Innovation City. And today we are going to be signing the Memorandum of Understanding with the Korean government, Korean Land Corporation and with Germany's Heidelberg Technology Park, Korea and Germany are together and Korea Land Corporation is joining this project, is a, signing the MOU and they will be developing the Korea city, I mean in the sense that a lot of Korean companies are going to come and invest. Not only that, what is special about the Special Economic Zone or the Gujarat Vital Innovation City? It is the unique only Special Economic Zone in the country today which is based on knowledge creation. Knowledge comes out of research and when that research knowledge is converted into technology and applied, it becomes a source, an engine for development of wealth and prosperity. We have seen, for example, in Taiwan how the Sinchu Park and in the United States, the Silicon Valley gave a model of creating through research knowledge, knowledge converted to technology, technology to industry, industry to growth and prosperity. That is the route which the Gujarat Vital Innovation City is going to follow. Gujarat has been a pioneer state, whether it is in the field of the cooperative movement or in taking initiative of privatizing infrastructure facilities like ports. It has set pioneering trends for India. And now its focus is on soft infrastructure. Its focus is on engaging with the youth and in really all the infrastructure sectors. This gives Gujarat an innate advantage. The Gujarat of the 21st century is the embodiment of a nation transforming itself into a world's largest economy and lifting millions on millions of people to a better quality of life. Two years back, uh, when I was here, I was counting, uh, uh, respected uh, Chief Minister, as uh, the MOUs started uh, crossing $100 billion. And this year also I will count, and I am sure it will not be 100, it will be a number far exceeding uh, $100 billion in terms of investment. What this does to the state of Gujarat, and what this does to the nation, I think is very easy to understand. $100 billion of investment uh, last vibrant Gujarat, $150 billion this time round, that is $250 billion, adds over 6% to the national GDP. And uh, you can imagine what it adds to the state GDP. You'll be able to validate yourself to this concept of vibrant Gujarat. It is generally said that 21st century is going to emerge as the century in which India and China will be the growth engine of the world. However, Gujarat is and will continue to be the growth engine of India.